Today is World Pancreatic Cancer Day, a day set aside to spread awareness about pancreatic cancer and celebrate those who have battled the disease. For one Melrose woman, it's a bittersweet occasion. While she's thankful to be alive following her diagnosis, she mourns the loss of her brother, who wasn't as fortunate. News 8 Now's Jeremy Wall joins us live in, in studio with that story. Jeremy. Ken and Emily, according to the American Cancer Society, pancreatic cancer is extremely difficult to detect early. It's one of the reasons only 12% of people diagnosed with it survive. Mary Woods is one of the lucky few. Mary Woods was having Thanksgiving dinner with her family eight years ago when she felt a pain in her upper abdomen. Things just weren't right. I had this beautiful plate of food and I sat down and I thought, oh, I can't eat that. At first, Woods thought it was nothing, but the pain wouldn't go away. I was a little tired. I had lost about five pounds, and I had a little pain in my stomach up above my, up my, come by my rib. Woods took no chances and went to the doctor. That's when her life changed forever. In January 2016, the 73-year-old was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer, the same disease that claimed her brother Bernard only two years earlier. The first thought that went through mind was, I'm not going to die. And the thought of dying actually did not ever cross my mind. After 48 biopsies and eight rounds of chemotherapy and radiation, her tumor finally shrunk. Well, I think my surgeon in Madison summed it up. She came in and she looked at me and she said, she drew a diagram on a whiteboard and she says, Mary, she says, you are a miracle. She says, I've never had anyone have pancreatic cancer surgery that didn't have some cancer cells still in their body. She credits her faith, her doctors, and her granddaughter, Adeline, for helping her survive. People don't really think of pancreatic cancer because you don't see people make it through it. But the people that do make it through it are some of the strongest, most willpowered people you'll ever meet. Woods has been cancer-free for seven years. Now she's raising awareness. In 2020, she wrote a book called The Co Co Coincidences of Cancer, which she hopes will help educate people about pancreatic cancer. Guys, she also encourages everyone to be aware of the symptoms and not be afraid to see a doctor if something doesn't feel right. Ken and Emily? Yes, strong spirit she has. Thank you, Jeremy. Symptoms of pancreatic cancer include abdominal pain, decreased appetite, weight loss, and yellowing skin. If you observe any of those, call your doctor right away.